all know how magical it is to watch Hallmark Christmas movies, but I bet you it's even more magical to actually film one. <laughs> and you have done that. And my goodness, you look like you just jumped out of a Christmas movie right now. Well, it's funny <laughs> you say that because I'm actually wearing my wardrobe from Christmas in Vienna. Oh, I, I felt that. like that would be appropriate. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, I yes. love that you wore this dress. I love that they let you keep it. It's beautiful. I know, me too. <laughs> and it really suits what I would imagine Christmas in Vienna right. would be, right? So to me, this movie is kind of like a Hallmark Channel, like dream come true. This is like, it literally is. Really? So you're in Vienna. Mm -hmm. It just tell us a little bit about this incredible experience that you had there. It was one of those once in a lifetime experiences, I think. I mean, we were shooting in December leading up to Christmas, walking down the actual, uh, in the actual Christmas marketplaces. So um, that's not set decoration? That's, that's not what set decoration, like. that is what it looked like. The only thing we had to add was snow sometimes, but we were in, inside of St. Stephen's Cathedral. Uh, we, we climbed all the way to the top of the bell tower and shot up there. And we literally didn't have to decorate because everything was decorated for the holidays. These, um, you know, we were working in the middle of actual shoppers from all over the world. Oh so, I mean, it was, it was, it was incredible. There was actually this one really magical moment where we had to shoot um, in this iconic Ferris wheel that's been running for a hundred years in Vienna called Reisenrad. And when we arrived at our location, it started snowing. Just big, giant, fluffy snowflakes. And the snow lasted until we said cut. It was like, you could not have scripted it. it no, you can't crazy. script it, and you also no. can't produce that kind of, you know, no. just Mother Nature can. I'm, well, I feel like Vienna really is a Hallmark movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it, is. it is officially, wow, that is incredible. My goodness, the, the scenes were just beautiful there. So you play Jess, who yeah. is a violinist, and she finds inspiration in Vienna. Tell us what happens. Yes, so uh, Jess is a, a premier concert violinist, and she comes to Vienna to kind of play her final swan song. She's decided to give it up she's lost her inspiration and her passion for the violin and when she arrives through a series of events she is inspired by the city and by the music um, and also she finds a little spark of, of love and it reignites her passion for violin and opens her heart again Aww. our good buddy Brennan Elliott there yeah. is going to be in it with you in fact we've got a sneak peek at the movie take a look at this clip everybody Welcome, welcome. We have a very special program for you this evening. Thank you to the city of Vienna for giving me the most magical holiday I have ever had. There truly is no Christmas like a Christmas in Vienna. Not just because of the markets and the food and the stunning architecture, but also because it taught me the true meaning of Christmas. Christmas is about love. Christmas, like music, like love, allows us to live in a magical world of our creation that exists beyond our own. Let's try to live there more often. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Okay, can I just say how amazing oh. that all looked? I mean, not only your performance, but the visuals. I mean, for those that yeah. may not know, Vienna is this grand city. Everything in it is bigger than life, oh. and it'll blow your mind. And it's just perfect for this year's Christmas movie, Hallmark Christmas. It was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely to see that. amazing. I mean, and we also saw um, your character there and Brendan Elliott, and we saw you playing a little bit of uh, violin. Very yes. convincingly, by yeah. the way. So that's a good <laughs> point. You. So super convincingly. So, and I know that you put in a lot of time and effort yeah. to get that just right. So tell us about that practice. Yeah, I, I didn't realize how intense the process was going to be because I was very committed to really looking like an incredible violinist. And when I got in there with Natalie Bonin, who that's me practicing in my bathroom with her on Skype. Wow. So so I, I, in my Christmas break, I would rehearse about three hours a day to learn and memorize exactly where the bow was oh, wow. up and down. I had to memorize what string I was on for each of the places that I, <gasps> the pieces that I was playing. Because you can't, if you're playing piano, you can do a close up and just right. bang away. But when you're doing violin, it's right up here. So if you get a close up, you ha your arm has to be bowing down at the right moment, up at the right moment, and in the right angle. So it, it 
took a lot of work, and I will say, after I, my final take of finishing all of the violin stuff on camera, I went to the trailer and just burst into tears, because I was like, that Sarah, was so much stress, work. Right. It's amazing. And yeah. I, I just, I wanted it to be I good. mean, you're a fantastic it's actress. I love that you commitment. dedicated yes, yeah. so much time to that, where others may not have. I really appreciate that, and I know that, that classic violinists appreciate that as well. But I mean, if you're going in the right motions, you, you actually made some nice sounds, I'm There sure. were moments when okay. I hit the right note, okay. but I will say that like, when I actually had to shoot it in front of the big audience, you can't silence a violin. Yeah. So I am squawking away oh. in really horrible sounds, and at one point after the first take, I say to this massive audience full of like 300, 400 people, sorry guys, I don't really play the violin. And one of the background people was like, yeah, we know. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Working very hard on this. Oh, <laughs> me. Well, you know what? Oh, when no. we watch the movie, we can enjoy exactly. the right stuff. That's yes, right. Exactly. Well, something that um, is not as musically challenging, but is as important and as oh. meaningful to you is your neighborhood's Christmas caroling tradition yeah. that you actually left Vienna early for to fly home to be a part of. Tell us about this. This is so I sweet. I did. I did. Um, it started my son, uh, who's now eight, when he was about four or five. I've asked uh, for Christmas to be Santa. That was his Christmas <laughs> request. So we got him a full costume. Yeah. And then we came up together a as a neighborhood. And we we're like, what can we do um, as a neighborhood? And so we started this tradition where we have all the neighbors over. We decorate cookies, Christmas cookies. We create little care packages. The kids, we have dinner with the parents. Yeah. The kids go watch a movie. And then Micah gets dressed up in it. Oh, there we are decorating. <laughs> then Micah gets dressed up in his full Santa outfit, and, you know, with a beard, glasses, hat, the whole nine. We decorate a little wagon and we go from house to house Christmas caroling and handing out our care packages of all of the um, decorated cookies. That, how sweet is that? that? It's been, it's very sweet. And I did actually ask, I was like, I have to be home for this. It's an essential part of our Christmas on our block. <laughs> That's next level stuff. Right that there. is also <laughs> another Hallmark movie. My <laughs> goodness, I'm gonna write that into my next script. I'm gonna work it into my next script for sure. Okay, now we can't have you visit here and leave us before you lead us in a little Christmas carol. What do you think? That's How about right. a little We Wish You a Merry Christmas? Yes, well, let's, let's do the it. The whole family involved. Everybody's gonna join in. Sarah, take it away. All right. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Man, right. what a way to well done, family. Christmas, everybody. Yeah, that sounded amazing, everybody, especially you, Sarah. Thank you so much for being here. You're awesome. Christmas in Vienna is awesome, everybody. Premieres Saturday, <laughs> November 14th at 9 p.m., 8 central, right here on Hallmark Channel.